so today what we're going to look at we're going to look at some Aussie sentiment on the spreadsheet we can see it's a strong buy and it was yesterday and it looks like the retail guys are holding on to their bearish bias so what happens when um, when they do that well they'll get punished so we should see large bubbles down here and we should see small bubbles up here okay the reason for it is that they're short but they're adding short and a large bubble tells us price performance so a large bubble is doing well so if they're short and they're adding short and we see a large bubble then basically they're getting punished so um, they're short pound but then they're getting paid so that tells me to be a little bit careful the pound and euro could be a bit smaller so just a um, just a little bit of logic there it's contrarian logic so that if they're short and then add in they should get punished if they're long and they're adding they should get punished so that should be smaller because they're long that should maybe be a bit larger that's an okay size because they're short and remember the bubble size indicates price performance and so let's have a look at the fxcm um, so we know at a high level it was a buy aussie because you know we're green but below 50 percent so at a high level we're a buy and likewise for aj um, we were a buy we have been for a a long time now what you could do you could use the 21 moving average and uh, you know when you get a crossover of the SSI line to the 21 moving average you can get a decent idea about price direction so uh, admittedly we did go sideways quite a bit but this is probably anticipation of the RBA and um, they went long and then they shorted it just prior to the announcement and then boom up he went so they shorted it on its way down and it looks like they might be going ever so slightly long if they do this could be a little bit of a top in indication but as long as um, we, we remain below that 21 moving average you'd hold on to your trade that's that's the bias until that line crosses the 21 you'd hold on um, so we can really let this rip and this basically tells us um, you know it's like a bit of a liquidation event of the retail guys and it's testing their resolve we have to remember that the SSI line is not your typical indicator it's emotional fear and greed indicator so when you see this coming up that's greed and when it's coming down it's fear okay and they they um, lots of fear uh, materialized and so what happens when the market's fearful price goes up against them so likewise for AJ so just a, a really quick video today on about the SSI line, not to treat it like your technical indicator uh, that you're used to, but think of it as an emotional indicator where it tells us how the market, uh, the, how they're feeling and their sentiment. Uh, so, you know, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, remember to get a copy of this. It's really, really, really good. Let's look at the US 500. And we'll see... Uh, you know where we are a buy at a high level because we're below 50 percent and it's going quite sideways so it's quite tricky we they are going long we might get a sell signal if that crosses so we have to be a bit careful remember we want that line to come down that indicates fear if they're fearful up will come so um just uh just a quick video on that gold is also um possibly going to be a sell uh, gold and the reason for that is this we had the crossover so they've gone long so they've become greedy here so they're making a little bit of money 1928 1930 around that round about that area there they're going they're getting a bit greedy okay so they had a bit of drawdown but it's come up to their break even and they're just about getting paid so uh, if that continues higher then this should fall if it continues higher and then this comes up it means that they're getting paid and it can happen uh, with 20% 20, 20 probability because we know 20% of retail traders you know they are profitable and they make money and they come back next week with nice profits the thing is with uh, successful retail traders they're not looking at their daily profits they're looking at what they get at the end of the month and at the end of the year so you can have um, like a down day um, a lot of retail traders let that affect them uh, let the you know their mental um, state of mind if you have a bad day you take baggage 
to the next day and, and that professional traders won't just simply okay I had a bad day we'll move on and so that's why they look at the big picture um, so that's just something to bear in mind they've got like an emotional baggage that they take but we have to remember that you do have like the occasional down day you can't be profitable every single day it's just it's unrealistic so it's possible that they might get paid on this gold move uh, but I don't think it's going to last for very long and um, but we'll have to wait and see so you note that there's not that many indicators on here you can just look at your market structure and to see if we're making a higher high and then we had a lower high here so what you might want to be looking at is not necessarily the higher highs but look at the lows if you're thinking about buying look at the wicks below because it indicates buying pressure so you know that was obviously a, a, a fairly strong candle there and so what you want to see is maybe the lows if you're looking into buying and then look at the highs if you're looking for selling so um, maybe that's useful and uh, so we had, we had a doji candle here so it's just a case of incorporating a little bit of like market structure and with the sentiment uh, you don't really need probably that many indicators on here like maybe a you know, pitchfork maybe a couple of moving averages but if you just look at the wicks that it tells you a lot of stuff as well and uh, we'll see how we go with this so I can't imagine this really continuing higher uh, but it can happen with 20% probability and because of that we still need excellent risk management and also lastly if you do have a down day don't let it affect you and just look at the big picture look at the end of the month look at the end of the year and you always try and strive to be profitable but you do have the occasional day where you don't make money I've been sitting on my hands quite a lot last week I didn't really do that many trades because you need to know when to trade and when not to trade and Yesterday was a bit of a um, like a funky week because you know we had end of month quarter as well. So this is going okay as expected. This should be falling, but you know we have to look at the stop loss clusters. Where are the stop loss cluster for gold? Nineteen forty. All right, so that's po possibly where we're going to get to. So uh, I'll wrap up the video now and keep an eye on nineteen forty, and that's where the, the liquidity is and then we can maybe fall. So it's a nice payday potential scenario for the retail guys here and it will just come and grab that stop loss cluster and then we can maybe dump. So we'll have to wait and see. So um, trade carefully, know where your exit is. Say for example, if you want to go long gold, you probably look at that wick here, just a little bit below perhaps. And you know, just trade sensibly and you should be fine. But really this should be falling. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, so have a good day. And remember to get a copy of this. It's really good. It's free as well. Um, so because it's free, you have to get it. It's, it's just really powerful. And um, I'll speak to you tomorrow.